Hello and welcome to another Wannabe Entrepreneur. Today is another Sunday and uh, it got me thinking what should I speak about in this podcast, uh, particularly today, because, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't have that an exciting life that I have enough content to share every day and I, I've already been sharing for more than 130 episodes but sometimes it just makes me think that maybe it's best to stop and uh, maybe release less frequently and I already had this discussion with you a couple of times and uh, I guess your question for me is then why don't you stop why don't you just start releasing with less frequency and i don't know actually i i think that i'm somehow afraid to lose you to lose the listeners because i know that every day i have listens but um, and i know of course that if i stop then i will have less listens right because they are regular listeners and i really appreciate you for this but it's also just not scaling up to in the rate that I was expecting to do. I mean, I was not expecting anything, to be honest. I I just hope, I hope that it would grow and I would have already some kind of source of income. I don't know, like, uh, it's hard for me to say values, but maybe what? 500 euros or something like this per month which would somehow assure me that i was going in the right direction but uh, so far that hasn't been the situation that's not what ha what's happening and i'm always wishing that tomorrow will be a better day and uh, i will have one of those crazy growth rates like 30 percent per day or something but it just doesn't happen. And uh, people tell me to keep on pushing because it will happen. But will it? It just is just a matter of keep on pushing and or does it mean that I'm just not in the right direction with the podcast? That I'm not in the right direction with change it. And um yeah, there's this kind of mixed feelings. You know, from one side I have a void, a void where I think, uh, okay, this, I'm just, you know, tricking myself and I will never have success or even be able, which, by the way, success for me is to be able to leave out of this project and that will never happen. And the other part says, but I really enjoy doing this. It's really something that gives me a lot of fun and uh, excitement to work on my projects every day and i feel fulfilled mm -hmm. so yeah i i don't know i think if i go back to what my boss told me uh, so when i left weekends my boss from weekend the startup i worked before i started doing these projects he told me that to have this mindset which is if it's not making you rich stop doing don't do it and i know that it doesn't mean rich rich like having the private jet but if it's not making you money that you can live with just don't do it like try to move to something that will give you more and uh, i guess that's that's what i have to do with this podcast I, I have to cut on some episodes so that I can gain some hours that I can use to focus on other projects and uh, and also to think, to have time to think about what should be my next steps, what should be my my strategy. And I know that having a daily podcast is something that sets me apart from the others because you can really listen to my thoughts in real time. But the reality is that it, at this rate, it won't make me rich. 
and again, what what I mean with this is at this rate it won't pay the bills, and uh, I, I just cannot continue with this. And um, yeah, this is the reality. I mean, this is the reality of starting your own projects. I believe it's uh, there's only they say that only I guess ten percent of the startups succeed. And we only hear the stories of those 10%, right? But uh, there's 90% of them that go through the exact same stress and they don't know what to do. And uh, and yeah, sometimes things fail and that's kind of what trying to figure out how to not fail, but it's it's very hard. And also maybe with the business models, the way I'm trying to monetize change it. it requires a lot a lot of traffic the way i'm trying to monetize this podcast i mean i'm asking people to become members that's something that no one have heard. like no one does it mostly right so people are just expecting to to have ads or something they don't want to pay for a membership just to hear me speak i don't know i just get too hopeful and thinking that people will do this but of course they won't i mean i wouldn't do it for others, I, I would maybe give a one-time donation, but I, I wouldn't just become a, a member, a day, a monthly paying member. That would be really hard for me. Uh, what's in it for me? I would ask, right? And um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to come up with. I'm trying to come up with some perks for that. I I don't want to do ads, guys. I I, I tell you and gals. I tell you that I don't want to do ads because, I mean, it's it's kind of, you know, the rich getting richer kind of thing. Because if you have a lot of money, you can have a product, pay, and then people will install it. Whereas if you don't have money, no one will ever notice. <laughs> and that's unfair. You know, that's a very unfair society. And I, I don't want to contribute to it. So I, I it I really want to try to avoid to have ads. And um yeah, the other approach is to kind of use the podcast to sell stuff to to sell my own books or whatever, but I cannot write books. I mean, what I can do is what I'm doing right now. I can podcast. If I could write books, I would write a book <laughs> and sell it. Why would I now write a book just to sell you? So the only thing that comes to my mind is to create some kind of merch, like uh, some kind of mug or cap or stickers for wannabe entrepreneur and sell it. Because it's something that I find it quite cool. As long as they are somehow sustainable, good quality, I'll probably do that. So this is something that I also comes to my mind. Or some very cool partnerships where... I would somehow be sponsored by, you know, but that's kind of ads, you know, that's, that's, yeah, you know, being sponsored by some tool or some company that I really believe in, truly believe in and think that will help you. But again, that reaches to the point of ads. So I guess merge and subscriptions or creating some package that will somehow bring a lot of value to the listener. That, that would be what I would be focusing on. And for change it, definitely trying to get more people on board and uh, maybe some investment. I, I need to do that. And for that, I I need some time. So, yeah, I guess this will be the last Sunday I'm releasing. And I will try to cut the weekends. Now, I will just release uh, from Monday to Friday. And, uh, yeah. It it feels good. I think I'm I'm recording this episode on a Friday, by the way, and uh, it will be out on a Sunday. So I will still think about it if I will release it or not. If you are hearing it, is because it's true. I thought about it. I will only then release from Monday to Friday and see how that works, and then I might adapt. I hope it's fine by you, the listeners that listen to me every day. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for listening me to me every day. But also now there are so many other episodes that uh, you can just, you know, go back to the first episode and re-listen to them. Or, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I let you down with this. 
but um, I think it will be for the best. This was another wannabe entrepreneur. See you tomorrow.